Good evening, Dr. Phil here. Today we will be discussing on breathing systems. Introduction Breathing system refers to the delivery system that conducts gases such as oxygen and anesthetic agents to the patient and conducts waste gases such as CO2 away. The colloquial term is circuit. Classification The classical classification of breathing systems classifies them as open, semi-open, semi-closed or closed. Open systems have no valves, tubing or reservoir back. For example, insufflation or open drop ether. The patient has access to atmospheric gases. Semi-open systems have a reservoir such as a breathing bag. There is no rebreathing. For example, a Mapleson circuit or a circle system at very high fresh gas flows, which far exceeds the minute ventilation. Semi-closed systems have a reservoir such as a breathing bag and allows partial rebreathing. It is further classified into rebreathing systems with CO2 absorption and rebreathing systems without CO2 absorption. For example, a Mapleson circuit or a circle system at low fresh gas flow, the most commonly used method today. Closed systems has a reservoir such as a breathing bag and allows for complete rebreathing. CO2 is absorbed. For example, a circle system with APL valve closed and a very low fresh gas flow that equals oxygen uptake by the patient. This classification system is confusing and devices are classified differently by different authors. A simplified classification of breathing systems. They can be classified as systems with CO2 washout and systems with CO2 absorption. Systems with CO2 washout, for example, open systems such as Schimmel Bach mask which incorporates a chloroform soaked gauze or the delivery of fresh gas into an anesthetist cup hands for inhalational induction in pediatrics. Semi-open systems such as Mapleson breathing systems, which rely on gas dynamics to ensure that CO2 is washed out and not rebreathed. Systems with CO2 absorption, for example, closed systems such as the circle system. The circle system can also be used as a semi-closed system. Efficiency of breathing systems. This is defined by the lowest fresh gas flow that prevents the patient rebreathing alveolar gas during ventilation. The lower the fresh gas flow needed to prevent rebreathing of CO2, the more efficient the breathing system. For example, in an efficient closed system, only the amount of fresh gas flow and anesthetic gases taken up by the patient is required to be supplied. An efficient system is desirable to reduce the expenses of anesthetic gases reduce pollution and conserve heat and moisture. An inefficient breathing system will cause more pollution and increase the expenses of anesthetic gases as most unused anesthetic gases will be vented into the atmosphere. Features of the ideal breathing system Simple design, for example, minimal connections that can be sources of gas leakage. Lightweight and portable, compact, sturdy, safe to use in all age groups reliably delivers intended gas mixtures, efficient in both spontaneous and controlled ventilation, protects the patient from aerotrauma, allows scavenging of waste gases, has low resistance to gas flow, conserves heat and moisture, has easy maintenance and low running costs. Back valve mask system It is brought to the market in 1956 by Ambu, also known as Ambu Bags. Clinical uses, it is primarily used for emergency mask ventilation with or without a pressurized gas supply or to ventilate the patient via an ETT or LMA. Mechanism of action, it has a self-inflating bag made of clear silicone. It returns to its original shape when squeezed. It is able to be collapsed on itself for storage in some designs. There is a one-way non-rebreathing valve located between the self-inflating bag and the mask, it vents expired gases. Various designs exist, for example, Ambu uses the proprietary Ambu E valve. This valve permits both spontaneous and controlled ventilation in most designs. Source of oxygen can either be room air or supplementary oxygen. Oxygen reservoir, which maximizes FiO2. Advantages The self inflating bag enables Ambu bags to be used without a pressurized gas supply. 
Room air will be delivered to the patient if pressurized oxygen supply is not available. It is self-contained, widely available, able to provide high FiO2 using an oxygen reservoir. The one-way non-rebreathing valve prevents rebreathing of exhaled CO2. Spontaneous and controlled ventilation can be employed. Disadvantages The self-inflating bag provides little tactile feedback during ventilation to assess lung compliance. It lacks a visual indicator for spontaneous ventilation. It is less suitable for application of PEEP compared to the Mapleson and Circle systems. Nevertheless, PEEP valves are available from the manufacturer. It is an inefficient system as all expired gases are vented, resulting in increased expenses of anesthetic gases, increased pollution and loss of heat and moisture. Tubings they connect one part of a breathing system to another and act as a reservoir for gases in certain systems such as the Mapleson E or F system. It is made of plastic, silicon rubber or silver impregnated bactericidal plastics. The length is variable and depends on the breathing system. The typical adult diameter is 22 mm and for pediatrics it is typically 15 mm. Features that promote lamina flow within the tubings Uniform and large diameter, smooth inner surface. Corrugations of the tubings resist kinking, increases flexibility, and increases turbulent flow and airflow resistance if present on inner surface of the tubings. Adjustable pressure limiting valves or APL valves. This is a one-way spring-loaded adjustable valve which allows exhaled gases and excess FGF to leave the breathing system while not allowing room air to enter the breathing system. It is also known as the expiratory valve, spill valve or relief valve. Purpose The APL valve is used to minimize the risk of barotrauma to the patient by venting gas when a preset pressure is exceeded. It is used to adjust the pressure in the breathing system for spontaneous or controlled ventilation and it forms a part of the scavenging system. It is an essential component of most breathing systems. Exceptions include the Mapleson E or F systems. Components It has three pots, the inlet, the patient pot, and the exhaust pot. It has a lightweight disc which rests on a knife edge seating. This reduces the area of contact and reduces the risk of adhesion from surface tension of condensed water. It is coated with hydrophobic material and held against the knife edge seating by a spring, closing the valve. The stem acts as a guide for the disc to position it correctly. The spring is incorporated in the valve. The pressure required to open the valve is adjusted by changing the spring tension. The spring tension is altered by screwing or unscrewing the valve dial. It has a connection to a scavenging system. Exhaust gases exit through a 30mm port. Mechanism of action. When the valve top is screwed upwards, for example during spontaneous breathing, the tension of the spring is low. The pressure required to open the valve is low. The pressure exerted by the spring is less than 1 cmH2O when the valve cap is fully unscrewed. The valve opens when the patient generates a positive pressure within the breathing system during expiration, which exceeds the pressure exerted by the spring, and gas escapes with minimal resistance. When the valve top is screwed downwards, for example during controlled ventilation, the tension of the spring is high. The pressure required to open the valve is high, resistance to expiration is greater. Gas will leave the system at a higher pressure than during spontaneous ventilation. The valve is adjusted to produce a controlled leak during the inspiratory phase of controlled ventilation. When fully closed, the APL valve will open at a pressure of 60 cmH2O as a protective measure to avoid barrel trauma to the patient. Advantages of the APL valve It permits control of the airway pressure during positive pressure ventilation. PEEP can be applied when necessary. Scavenging of anesthetic gases can be done via a 30mm pot. Disadvantages Condensation of water vapor on the disc causes it to stick to its seating. APL valves are a source of airway resistance for the breathing system. Thus, it is less suited for use in small children or infants. 
Mapleson E and F systems do not have APL valves due to this reason. Barotrauma may occur due to excessive pressures from the closure of the APL valve. The APL valve adds bulk to the breathing system. Malfunction of the scavenging system causes excessive negative pressure. The APL valve may remain open throughout respiration. The dead space of the breathing system increases substantially if this occurs. Next, we move on to the reservoir bag. It is an essential component for most breathing systems. It is made of anti-static rubber or plastic, which is latex-free. It is commonly ellipsoidal in shape. Standard adult size is 2 liters. Larger sizes are useful for inhalational induction in adults. Pediatric size is typically 0.5 liters. The range of sizes is 0.5 to 6 liters. Mechanism of action. The reservoir bag acts as a reservoir for oxygen and anesthetic gases. Oxygen and volatile anesthetics enter the bag from the fresh gas flow during expiration and exits the bag during inspiration. The gases stored in the reservoir bag is available for the next inspiration. If there were no reservoir bag, fresh gas flow must be at least the patient's peak inspiratory flow, which can be more than 30 liters per minute in adults to prevent rebreathing. Thus, lower fresh gas flow is needed in the presence of a reservoir bag and efficiency of the breathing system is improved. The size of the bag should be appropriate for the patient and the breathing system as a small bag does not provide a sufficient reservoir for a large tidal volume. For manual ventilation, assisted or controlled ventilation is achieved by squeezing and releasing the bag. The reservoir bag acts as a visual indicator for the ventilatory pattern during spontaneous breathing. However, it is an inaccurate guide to the tidal volume of the patient. The reservoir bag protects the patient from barrel trauma. Pressure builds up in the breathing system if the APL valve is stuck or the APL valve is closed. The reservoir bag distends and limits the pressure in the breathing system to 40 to 60 cmH2O and this reduces barrel trauma. As the radius of the back increases, the pressure falls according to the law of Laplace. The fall in pressure can be observed on the pressure gauge of the anesthetic machine. Laplace law. For a sphere, wall tension equals pressure times radius divided by 2 or pressure equals 2 times wall tension divided by radius. For a tube, pressure equals wall tension divided by radius. For a given wall tension, a sphere of smaller radius will have a greater pressure drop across its wall than a sphere of larger radius. Higher inflation pressure will be needed to keep a small sphere inflated than will be required for a larger sphere. The reservoir bag has a plastic cage located at the opening of the reservoir bag. This plastic cage prevents a position of two sides of the bag to avoid occlusion of gas flow, especially during spontaneous breathing. Regarding open-ended reservoir bags, these are used in Mapleson F breathing systems. No APL valves are present in Mapleson F systems. To maintain and adjust positive pressure in the Mapleson F system, the anesthetist partially occludes the open-ended tail of the bag. Advantages of the reservoir bag It is an essential component for most breathing systems. It allows manual ventilation to be performed. It improves the efficiency of the breathing system and permits tactile feedback. It acts as a visual indicator for spontaneous ventilation. Open-ended reservoir bags can be used to adjust the delivered positive pressure. And these bags conveys protection from barrel trauma. Disadvantages of reservoir bags. They are easily torn, not self-inflating, and must be used with a pressurized gas supply. Draw over systems such as the tri service apparatus. Kindly refer to the video on anesthetic machines for further details. These are my references. Thank you.